Let's begin by creating our text. Select the Type tool and draw out a rectangle and type in your text. You can make any changes you want to your text in Essential Graphics, but please note, a larger thick type font works better for this effect. Extend the duration of your text on the timeline to 8 seconds. Now with the text layer selected, click on the Pen tool under Opacity, then draw a triangle with three points, showing only the bottom left half of the text when you're done. Then set your mask feather to zero. Duplicate your text layer twice, and disable the top two layers for now. Highlight the bottom text layer and go to Effect Controls, then change the opacity to 1%, then re-enable the top two layers. Click on the top text layer and select Inverted under Mask and Effect Controls, then disable the top layer. Deselect all the clips on your timeline, and then select the Pen tool on your toolbar. Make two points perfectly in line with the line slash we created earlier, ensuring both points end off screen. Take your time with this and make it as precise as possible. Go over to Essential Graphics, scroll down and disable Fill, and enable the Stroke. Then ensure the pixel width for Stroke is set to 1. Extend the duration of our new line layer to match the others on the timeline, then re-enable the top text layer previously disabled. Highlight the new line layer, go to Effects, find the linear wipe effect and drag it onto that layer. Go over to Effect Controls and move the playhead to the 2 second mark, then click on the stopwatch icon beside Transition Completion. Move the playhead back 2 frames by hitting the left arrow key twice, then change Transition Completion to 100%. This will create our line slash animation. Click and highlight the middle text layer and nest the sequence, then find the transform effect and drag it onto that layer. Find the exact frame where our line fully appears and completes across the screen. Then under Transform, click on the stopwatch animation icon for position and rotation. Move the timeline slider ahead about 2 seconds and then change the rotation to minus 85. Then change the vertical position until our partial word falls out of the bottom of our screen. To smooth out our animation, select the first set of keyframes next to position and rotation, then right click and select temporal interpolation, then select ease out. Expand both position and rotation properties, and then drag the second blue dot directly over to the right like this, which will make the effect look more realistic. Finally, disable the Use Composition Shutter Angle and set it to 360. You can also add a sound effect to enhance this title animation.